Okay, I want to do a quick video on an example of what these MH13 properties in the front of, actually the middle, of the Cochise College Estates looks like. Yeah, this is overgrown. The MH13 stands for mobile home. And some of these um, lots out here have concrete pads that go right next to the motor home. You can see right over there, there's either phone or power box under, or underground lines. I would say there used to be water out to this one, because over here we have some spigots sticking out of the ground. Right there. Now, MH, these MH13 lots are 1.3 acres, but at least some of these look like they used to have utilities going right to them. As you can see those right there look like utility boxes, but like water shutoffs. Like I said, the concrete pads are still here. Maybe even with, I don't know, or those might be tie downs on them. Now, there's not a whole, eh, right there, gas or water, I'm not sure which. But at least these couple over here used to be in use so it might be as simple as getting the utilities just turned back on in lots like this one right here that road there's a road about a hundred feet that way which is Notre Dame Notre Dame so we're thinking power and water at least came out this far because of these lots right here in that box over there and all these lots are angled. And they're cute teeny lots if you had a motor home. Yeah, I don't know if there's a power or a phone box, but it's right there. You just clear out a little bit and get a permit. Park your motor home right next to there. And the road coming in here is not that bad. You don't even have to clear it. Ouch, 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 ouch. And there's a couple, at least one concrete pad somewhere on the east side of the road. I think it's a little bit up there. That's what the MH13 spots, zone spots look like. Like I said, that means that they're for, zone for motor homes or manufactured homes. Ooh, there's a bird's nest. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.